Hello everybody, today I'm gonna show you guys how to make an unturned server in Malaysia or Singapore. Don't worry, other countries will work as well. Okay, there are indeed many other tutorials outside, so yeah, I doubt anyone will look at my videos. Me, let's get to the point. Okay, before we start, I would like you guys to look at each step because each step is very important. Okay, so if you're lost in the future or something, please pause here and yeah, take a look at which step you're lost in. Okay, first, you have to find your CMD, which I already found it. So I'll find it again again to let you see. Okay. Here, type in ipconfig. Okay. A little bunch of things will come out. All those things doesn't matter. You need to find your default gateway. Mine is 192.168.0.1. Okay, this doesn't matter. Uh, this doesn't matter to you because yours might be different. Okay, click your browser. Type it in. No, no, not this. Let's wait for it a while. It's taking it so long. You can probably skip the video here. Or I can do cuts. La la la. Okay, it's taking too long. I couldn't take it. We can do it again. Type it in here. There we go. Alright. Okay, for other countries, it might not look like this. But for Malaysia Unify, it'll look like this. Okay. Username will normally be admin unless you change it or something and for Malaysia Unify the password is nothing For other countries. I'm not that sure. So yeah, just lock in Click in advanced port forwarding as you can see I have port forwarded my answer server here Okay, you can follow each thing the name. It doesn't need to be the same. It can be anything you want for the Opening port, it must be 27015 for the latest version of Unturned and the ending will be 27017 Okay, traffic type will be any and the pi private IP This will be under here, you can find it here IPv4 address, that's your IP Okay, 192.168.0.1.0 blah blah blah, that's mine Okay for the allowed public IP, you must leave that empty. If not, nobody can join. Okay. For private port, it will be the same. Public port. Okay. Now you need to make two more. The same thing. Just that one more is TCP and one more is UDP. Okay. Uh, you can literally copy mine. Just that uh, the private IP will be different. Save your settings. Remember, save your settings. Alright, after you saved, close it. Go to your control panel, your firewall. Okay, we're gonna make new rules. Okay, when you click, click advanced setting, and then this will pop out. Click inbound rules, and click new rule on the right corner there okay click port next okay that's two you see TCP and UDP it doesn't matter because you're gonna make two so click specific local ports at 27015 ports you write just now seven okay next okay allow the connection okay uh, tick all of this the name will be the same you can uh, name anything you want for me it's unturned tcp click finish okay then you're gonna make another one same thing part this time it's udp instead of tcp 27015 next allow the connection take all of it this time it's unturned UDP. Okay, finished. 
Okay, then you'll find it here. Give it a while, it will load a while. You can find it here, there. Okay. Now I would like you to, to do is click properties. Click protocols and ports. For the remote port, click specific port and type it in. Type in the ports you typed just now. Click apply, click OK. And for UDP, you do the same thing. Protocols and ports. Specific ports, do the same thing. Apply, OK. OK, now you can close the thing. OK, we have finished all the confusing parts. Now for the easy part. OK, click your Steam, open your library under games. Click properties. As you can see, I have no games. I'm super poor. OK, click local files. Browse local files and copy, copy, ah, huh? please copy, not any other things. Just copy. Don't do it here. If not, you'll never be able to play Unturned for the rest of your life, unless you uninstall. Put it inside a new folder on your desktop. See, I've done that already. This is a brand new one. Okay, now copy already. Now create a shortcut not copy this one don't copy this one create a shortcut okay rename the shortcut to the, any name you want as clicker for my server be swag af2 because i have a swag af1 already okay go to the properties what what the crap Okay, there we go. Space bar, remember space bar. It's super important. We okay, type in this minus no graphics space bar batch mode space bar plus secure server slash the name of the server you want. My like AF2 and spacebar the code. This is very important. You have to put that. Click apply, click OK, and you're done. Okay, guys, after you have created the shortcut and do the thing, okay, turn on your server for a while. You it will look something like this, just lesser words because. Uh, mine is a server already, so yeah. Okay. And yours will have a few words only. Shut it down. Shut it down like this. Shut down. Okay. And click enter. I'm not gonna do that. Everyone will screw the crap out of me. Okay, and then... And then a folder will pop out. A folder name server will pop out. Okay. This name of your server will come out. Okay. You won't have rocket yet, but uh, because you don't have any plug in yet, if you guys request me to do another video about it, I will. But I'm not gonna touch on this for this video. Okay, then edit. Okay, you need this app Notepad Plus Plus. It's the best, man. It's literally the best. You really need this for any folders like. Uh, commands everything you also need this so just download this I'll put the link in the description okay okay here you can edit your name of your server the map that you want the port this is important you must 27015 okay and then mode maybe normal mode now there's only three map uh, Yukon PI and Washington okay uh, if modded map that will be a different story I will tell you that uh, in another video if there's anyone viewing this video of and and load out okay for for the when you spawn you have some items okay and PvP or on the role playing thing and timeout is uh, when a certain player reach this ping, it will be automatically kicked. 
welcome is the starting when you start the server you'll say this when people join in you'll say this and then the maximum players okay okay that's all okay thank you all for watching my video and yeah please do subscribe and leave a like and if you guys have any error or you guys have any problem with the game or your server just please do comment below or you guys request me to make a plugin video i'll do that a modded video i'll do that as well this you see this yellow thing the orange thing yeah if you guys want me to that's the utility okay you guys want me to make a video about it i'll do so so thank you a lot arigato gozaimasu adios amigos